so this is the procedure on how to how to do the mud pack. Okay, what you're gonna do is take a capsule of this right here, the Batane Plus, and you're gonna open it up, and you're gonna open the capsule up and put it in the plastic container. Don't use any metal on this. It's all on the piece of paper. You're gonna use plastic or wood for utensils or plates. So you put a capsule of this, and then in your situation, probably put um, about three tablespoons of this. You're going to have to experiment with that because you're putting them in two different areas. In the whole hand, you're going to be doing all in between the fingers and the top of the hand in your situation, wherever I tell you to put it. And then so, uh, and then you're going to put it on your low back along the scar. So here, it's really critical because your scar, remember I told you, mm -hmm. it's right there. But you have a road of energy going all the way up, all the way up to this point right there. So because you have a scar there, it's blocking energy flow to your neck, shoulders, and head. And so, like I said with my wife, her cesarean was blocking energy flow to her stomach. That conception vessel, which is the line of energy right through here, through acupuncture, it was blocking the energy flow to her stomach. And it was causing her stomach pains because of the cesarean scar. Scar is not good for the body. So after you do this, the good news is that you don't need to do it for another year. But you have to repeat using the process because scars don't go away. And so, but this is the best thing that I've seen to get rid of the effect of the scar. So, and, and, you know, I, I worked on the scar as well. You know, I did the, the dynamic cupping on you, but you do these three things, and this you can do at home. So that's a lot less costly than coming to see me. Right? So what I do is it, you approximate the amount that you're going to be using. In this case, I start with three tablespoons, a capsule of this, and now you start adding this slowly. Now, make sure that it's, it's, it's uh, shaken up good so that there's nothing... If you look in the mirror, uh, in the light, there should be nothing on the bottom of the of the okay. container because just sometimes it, it the, the the powder collects from the bottom. So you just shake it up until there's nothing. If you look in the mirror, I mean in the light, you should see nothing there. Okay. Now you start pouring it in into that tablespoon. Okay, not a metal, and now you start mixing it one tablespoon at a time until you get a thick paste okay. that sticks on that here. Sticks on. If you put too much in there, then you got more powder. Okay. So I always do this last, okay. okay? And then what I do is, you, you basically it's like a piece of mud, mm -hmm. like a piece of clay that you can stick on your face, but that thickness so it doesn't fall, okay? And you put as thick as you can, like maybe about at least a quarter inch thickness on top of the, the hand, mm -hmm. and on top of the, um, in your case, it would be the, um, the hand and the, and the, the low back. back. And you do that for 20 times. So what I do is I, I mix it up in the bowl, and then I transfer it to the piece of saran wrap. In your situation, you're gonna have to have to help you have your husband put it on your back. In the in the hand, it's easy. You can just put it's it right, right here. It but put the saran wrap. Just put it. You know, put the mud right in the center of the saran wrap, and then just attach it like to here. And then you can put clothes if you want to do something. Okay. And then leave it on for 20 minutes. Uh, the range is 20, 15 to 30 minutes. But I'm gonna have you do for about 20 minutes. Do you have any questions on that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, no metal spoon, no metal uh, bowl. Okay, Mix no. it up till you get till you get to like a paste. And you open that one up, right? It's a capsule that you open up. This one is yeah. This one is the only one that you open up as a capsule. Everyone else is a powder. Okay. okay? Remember, it stains, so I just cover it with a saran wrap. 